All right, Bo Jordan, best guy in the country. Anyway, 9 through 12 grades, when I say that to you, what do you think of that? 9 through 12, uh, I don't know. Still a lot to prove, I guess. We're all, we're all, I think I'm the best in the country. You don't? Depends, yeah. Why not? Any given day, you don't feel better than anyone. So, I mean, you always have to keep working. There's always someone out there who got them for you. So, um, maybe now, but yeah, you gotta keep training. There's always someone out there. So, all right. What about your day? Can you get him yet? No, I can't get him yet. Are you sure about that? I don't know. He's getting older. I'm getting bigger. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. It's tight. He doesn't put the shoes on much anymore, but he drills with me. He still uh, feels like he still got it. Okay, you're you're the undisputed 152 pound number one ranked guy in the country. You still think that you know everybody is coming after you. Every college wants you to go there. What colleges would be on the top of the list? The last time we talked, it was VT, Virginia Tech, because they got about 37 guys from Graham on their team. And then uh, Ohio State was in, in the conversation, and Wisconsin, of course, due to the, the Jordan legacy there. Um, what would you say? Is that still those three, or are you narrowed down, or is there one? Probably just Ohio State and Wisconsin. I like Virginia Tech, but uh, mostly leaning towards Ohio State and Wisconsin. What, 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 you know, what's it going to take, and what's it ultimately going to come down to for you? Uh, just um, probably, you know, coaches, workout partners. That's probably the, the biggest thing. Um, uh, just uh, just surrounded by good people and a good atmosphere um, and having, you know, tough guys to wrestle like uh, every college. So um, basically those things. Just coming, yeah, with the atmosphere and uh, the coaching, and uh, obviously the wrestlers to wrestle with. So. This state tournament, you know, you had a defending champ in the finals there. Dom every, you dominated every match, okay? It, it seemed like, you know, in the semifinals, I, I told you how I felt about that one. That was Alex Bergman, a friend of yours. You really, you really turned it up. Do, when you get to the state tournament, and you know, it's a family tradition, what you guys have done. Is, yeah. Do you go to another level? Do you think? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, I kind of just push myself a little more harder. Uh, you know, kind of try to finish every period as you know, strong as I can. Uh, really get them tired. Um, that's basically what it comes down to. Uh, you know, getting the guy tired it can be a different match. You know, he might be tough, but uh, if you get someone tired, it's, you know, it's always a different story. So, did, did the game change plan? The game plan change at all for the final the defending champ Burns? Did you do anything differently? Did you? Uh, no, not really. Um, mostly just more pressure. I mean, keep the pressure up. Uh, you know, he, he, I think he had a gas tank. He think he was pretty, uh, he's, you know, his stamina was good um, from matches I saw him wrestle before that. Um, he seemed like he was always, you know, pretty, felt pretty good third period. He was a strong wrestler, so um, I just had to keep the pressure up and, uh, you know, start beating his head and uh, stay on him, and uh, I knew I'd do good. So. I think you right now you're the toughest, Jordan. What do you got to do to get what your what your dad's done? He's a two-time All-American, yeah. and your uncle Jim is a two-time NCAA champion, a three-time All-American, I think. Yeah, or three-time three -time All-American, yeah, two-time two -time champ. What do you got to do to get to their level and and and, you, and be even better than there? Uh, just keep training. Uh, that's really all you can do. Uh, you know, give it all you've got every you know every second you're in the in the practice room. Uh, you know, just keep up the hard work and uh, just keep building from there. So. What do you tell Micah? Uh, I don't know. Just keep, you know, keep training hard, keep doing what he's doing, and uh, you know, he's getting a lot better. Okay. When you guys scrap other fists, other ever fists? No, never fists. Never fists. When we were little, we fought a lot. We were little, you know, both of us. You know, I'd be, you know, not really fists, but we would get into it, you know, when we were little. But no, everything's, everything's great. You know, you know, we really build off each other. Uh, Zeke's really focused. Um, when it comes to practice room, he's a, uh, you know, he's all, you know, he's all training, all focused, and that helps me too. And uh, you know we're great together. You know we really build off each other. So. Will he be uh, in the decision? Do you yeah. think that, that his, him being at Wisconsin will help it? Yeah, definitely. Definitely him being at Wisconsin will help it. Um, I know, I know, uh, I know how he trains, and I know he, you know, he's always. You know, we're, we're both always striving to get better, and you know, keep learning. So uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. What makes you so good on top? Uh, I don't know. Um, I started wrestling uh, legs when I was little, and I watched a lot of videos of Lance Palmer. And how he works on top, and I just try to you know do what he does. I try to figure out the same things, and I uh, keep a lot of pressure on them when they're down. You know, always keep pressure on them. Uh, I think a lot of guys struggle with uh, once they get them in, like the boots or whatever. They start letting up pressure and try to you know. I mean, you just always keep pressure on them and uh, keep work down. All right, I think you got to go get your award. Yeah. Thanks for the time. Congratulations, okay. and uh, hopefully we'll see number four next year. Hopefully.